There we go. Now we're live. Okay. Uh, I don't know what I did. I, I was already talking for like five minutes and apparently the stream wasn't going. Alright, uh, I'll start over again. Hello everyone. Uh, this is Venom. I am back. I'm streaming again. We're going to be streaming the Outriders demo today. I'm going to let the intro play so you guys kind of see it and I'll go over my little spiel. Whatever we were before, we're something new now. We were given a second life. We can't waste it. So the intro there. Tell you what, I like that opening song. Um, so, a couple things. Full disclosure, I've already played this game for about 19 and a half hours. Again, this is just a demo. The actual full game comes out on April 1st. No, it's not a joke. It's actually coming out on April 1st. At least it's not a joke as far as we know. Um, though, wouldn't honestly wouldn't put it past them to have some kind of April Fool's thing going on when the game releases. Like, haha, I got delayed by a minute or something crazy like that. I don't know. But full game comes out on the 1st. This is an actual like old school type demo. Um, we can go up to level 7. Like I said, I've already played this for about 19 and a half hours, which is pretty good considering that there's only three main missions out right now and like I think four side quests or something. Um, my main character so far has been the Trickster, but we are going to play the demo. Uh, let's see. I want to... Come on, there we go. Change character. We are going to play the demo together using a character that I have not, or class I have not played yet. So we're gonna go ahead and customize character. Now again, this is a demo, I've, I've already bought the game. Um, I don't usually buy games pre-order anymore. I don't do early access, I don't do uh, alphas anymore. I got kind of burnt out on games that would update once every other year or so and add in like two new things. And it really got to be kind of a pain in the butt. I got burnt out on a lot of games because of that. Um, so now I'm only really buying full games. Again, this one's different. They actually gave us an actual demo demo, which you guys will see. I'm liking what I see in here, and there's only going to be more that's going to come out. It's not like there's a bunch of features that are being promised right now that we're not getting. Um, we see, like, there's crafting hasn't been unlocked. Um, that's going to be in the main game. We know what's in there. Um, I mean, it's not like a lot of games coming out now where it's just a crap crap ton of stuff that we're promised and we're not getting it I mean we can pretty much see what the game is going to be like like from the get-go so that I enjoy quite a bit now we're going to go ahead and create our character here uh what do I want here now let's let's make it you want to make them look like me uh you know let's do that we're going to make see I'm a little a little shaggy here looks like this one mm. Slightly lighter complexion than that. Yeah, that's that's pretty close. Markings, I don't have any scars or anything. I got earrings over chia. Yep, that's pretty close. Uh, no scars, but you know we're gonna give them one anyway because it looks pretty badass. Let's see. And the face scar. Alright, now the character creation is not super in-depth as far as how you look and stuff like that, which I'm fine with. I don't need a character to creator that's going to take two hours to get through. Um, this one's pretty good, and you're going to have a mask on most of the time anyway, so I mean, it works for me. Uh, I think we are good. I'm not going to spoil anything. Like I said, I've already played through all this, but we're going to choose a new character and do this. So, uh, yeah, check it out. 
and you guys will see what kind of game it is, and we're going to do the entire playthrough when the game does come out, so this will be our little opener. What do you want to call him? I already know. I'm going to call him Bruce. Alright, Brucey Bruce. Okay, so we choose our character, go to lobby. Skip prologue? No, I want to play the, play the prologue. Is this you only <laughs> younger? Uh, you know what? Yeah, we'll go with that. Younger and more fit. Younger and more fit. i to make sure the camel's pointing right at me. Alright, let's start. I'm not that damn old. I'm only 35. Only. Yeah. Alrighty. Now, there are things about the game that I love. There are a few things that are a bit janky. There's been quite a few updates. And one thing I tell you, the creators of this game have been very, very open about what's going on with the game. And they have actually been listening to the people playing it and listening to the fans so far. So, I mean, this is just a demo and there have been updates like every other day for this. And I'm talking not just like small bug fixes, we're talking like quality of life updates. Stuff that people have wanted in the game and that they're adding in. Like, that's insane. So that's... So far, good. Okay, here we go. Earth was dead. We had destroyed it, of course. Two colony ships were built to carry us across the stars. Two, I thought there was one, okay. Only one ship made it. We're all that's left. So basically, this ship has all of humanity that's left in it. Uh, after an 83-year journey, we orbit our new home. It's not the year to some mileage. Okay, that's... Don't lob factual statements at me like they're insults, sir. <laughs> the planet Enoch. So that's where this takes place, is the planet Enoch. Humanity's last damn chance. See, I forgot there were two ships. I thought there was just one in the beginning. So yeah, that, I bet that second ship comes up at some point, but that's the, uh, that's the setting here. Ooh, we got rings on this planet. You know, I have heard some people criticize the story so far. I mean, what we've got as far as the setup, people are kind of saying. I've heard some people say it's kind of generic. When I, I liked it. I, I like it. It's not. I mean, it's, it is kind of unique. You know, humanity's on the brink of destruction, yada yada. But okay, you're talking about. I like the story basically. Now, so much to set though, this pod is way bigger than I thought it was when I first saw it. Engines off. Pod one has landed. I think it's kind of hard to get the scope of just how big the ship is and these pods are until you see people kind of standing around them. Okay, we got a little clipping in the, in the opening here. Now the shaky cam here has been one complaint that everyone has been kind of universal on. I don't understand why they went with the shaky cam thing for cutscenes, but that's when everyone's kind of complaining about. That is, there's there are a couple negatives for the game. Don't get me wrong, this is one of them. There's not a lot, but this is definitely one. Like, I get it, it's artistic, it's kind of different, but I don't like it. I want snipers at three and six, multiple defense lines, and an operating base established within the hour. Move! Goodman, a word. You know the stakes of this mission. Flores is already half dismantled. Our engine's on its way down to power a city of half a million. Now, if these outrider bozos hit pay dirt, you report to me first. Now, this guy just looks Sir, like a douchebag. We're not on Earth, Shearer. There is no proper procedure. Listen up, outriders. I know what you're all thinking. I know what you're all thinking. Maybe it's the glasses combined with the British accent, or maybe it's just that little half cape, but he just looks like a douche. But the 
ECA pencil heads can't green light this land until we find their missing probes. So let's do our job. Yep. Now the opening cutscenes is gonna be probably about a good 40 minutes. I mean, pretty standard for a game, but. Now, something else I wanted to do here soon, too, is play uh, through Cyberpunk 2077 and try to, not necessarily 100%, but do all the quests for it. I played it when it first came out. I love the game. Um, there are definitely some bugs. I didn't have nearly as many bugs as a lot of people did, but um, I do want to go through and play that. And I've been kind of following a lot of the updates that are coming up. Can't wait for it to come online, too. I hope that doesn't get fucked up. Hey, can you hear the game and me in it? Like, is it balanced right? Can you hear me and the game okay? Or do I need to turn anything up or down? I'm still dialing in everything. So let me know if something's got to go up or down. Character, but we can only move around so far. He's had my three. Yeah, no kidding. I was thinking about that too. They got some pretty nice vehicles here. I hate the colors, but. Now, this is a third person shooter. Uh, I never played Gears of War. I know Sacrilege and everything. But apparently, this is uh, similar to Gears of War as far as uh, cover shooter mechanic. This is a cover shooter, but you're not going to be taking cover a whole lot the way this is set up. The voice in the game is a little low. Okay, give me just a second. I'm going to turn it up a bit. There's going to be a little break in the stream, but it should be okay. Uh, all right, I turned it up a bit. Just let me know if we got to readjust it, and I'll keep readjusting as we go. But, um, yeah, the game's a cover shooter, but the way this works is you can't really heal in game. The only way to gain your health back is to kill enemies. So basically, the more action you're in, the better you're gonna be out. Like you'll see as we go. It's I kind of like I didn't think I would at first, but I I'm getting into it. I tell you what. Camp here. Outrider, set a beacon flag. For an, let HQ know the area secure. Oh, that's ugly. For an alien planet, there are sure are a lot of Earth-like trees and plants on here. Like look at this. That's. I mean, I guess the big old fungus glowing clusters coming out of that tree aren't Earth-like, but it still looks really Earth-like, so I like it. So I can't run anything yet. I can literally just move around. Going up within the hour. Jakob, you're field testing the munitions. Gutman, get your scanner up and running so we can find those damn probes. Outrider, a word. What you got for me, Jack? Hey. See a shaky cam again. So and it's not like here, it's our character looking at him and that's why it's shaking. It's just a random shaky cam. I don't understand it. Do, Weapons haven't been fired in nearly a century. But I think that is like the number one complaint people have is the damn shaky cam in the cutscenes. As soon as those probes are located, any questions? No word from Earth, I assume. She's really gone. She went dark 15 years into our journey. Yeah. More or less, it's pretty good. Awesome. Good stuff. ACA's confirmed no communication since. Shit. You know, I, uh, Grew up a slum dog. 
fighting for scraps. Lost everyone, really. Long before the end. Doomsday just wasn't a thing I worried about. Hell, it was never gonna live past 20 anyway. Somehow. <laughs> I was one of the ones who made it. Don't even know what I'm supposed to be doing here. As things go right, time's coming. You're gonna have to leave all that behind. This is a new beginning. You could have a family here. Build a cabin. Grow old and get fat. That's not me, Cap. Know my way around bullets, not kids. There'd be no need for someone like me here. Maybe the old you, Uprider. But you're one of the chosen few. You get to build the future. Don't waste it. Probably make it off Earth. Probably not, but I'm asking him anyway. Did any more of your people make it off Earth, Cap? My brother. Almost. But no. They got him in cryo as we evacuated LA. Hoping we could stop the bleeding. Ah, he was too far gone. Ah, shit. Sorry to hear that. I haven't had the time to think about it. What about Sarah? She's good, right? Yeah. My Sarah's up there. They don't wake her group for another six months, but I could... Making a kill? I'm, uh... I didn't have a chance to tell you this and all the madness, but... My little girl's pregnant. That's how I got her the seat. <laughs> Two for one special, huh? That's why I've been in such a good mood since they unfroze your ass. Don't push it out, right? <laughs> yes, sir, granddad, sir. I didn't read all this the first time I played through. I'll go find Jakob's shooting range. Good. We're on standby for those probes, so stay on alert. Yeah, that's Jack. Let's go talk to Jakob. Car. That's right. Out the way. Alright, Jacob, what you got for me? What's on your mind, boss? I know that look you get. Alright, what do you think about Enoch? What do you make of this place, Jacob? It's perfect. Beautiful. How long you want to bet before we bury it all under concrete and plastic? Can I shoot? Come on, you can't still be that cynical. Just look at this valley. I don't know, boss. Maybe we all just got too much riding on this. We already have one dead planet in the rear view. If we screw this one up too, it... Maybe we won't. Sure, maybe this is really it. Maybe we can finally stop sleeping with our guns under our pillows. Stop worrying about food every goddamn day. I want this to work. You have no idea. But people don't. Too much savvy junk going on. Hey, hey, hey. You stay over there. The whole world's gone. And there's no females? There are. It just happens that you came in the stream where there happens to be two dudes talking. That last day got really hairy. I wasn't sure if any of us were going to make it. We cut it pretty close. I'm sorry, Storm. You can't stop thinking about it either. I know. It's insane. That was 80 years ago. Yeah, it feels like days. My knuckles are still sore. My ears still ringing from all the gunfire. I mean, there was thousands of them. All climbing over each other, slaughtering everyone in their way. I tried to pull down the launch tower and bashing the doors of our shuttles. I've been in a lot of war zones, but that was fucking anarchy. Look. It was either us getting off the planet or them, but we just did what we had to do. We do what we have to do. We look out for each other. That must have been brutal. Hell, we better. Other than the cap and Cuthbert, you're the only person left alive I know. 
I'm the only person left alive worth knowing. <laughs> I'm glad you made it on board, you old bastard. Me too. Alright. Time for target practice. Time to test my gear. Uh, up for some target practice, boss. Let's get started. I've been playing Destiny and Warframe, so I gotta remember how to do all this. Uh, there we go. Mm, fancy stuff. Yeah, a new toy. You're the first one to test it out, boss. Think you could take on a tank? I can take him. Nice. Haven't lost your touch. Yeah, yeah. Did I ever mention how glad I am to be on your side? Now give that side arm a try, eh? Alright. Pistols. Damn. Somehow 80 years has improved your aim. Yeah, I missed one. Yo, you're back. Hey, you got, uh, ah, bruh. Sorry, give me one second. <laughs> give me a second, honey, bad. I got target popping up. Yes, sir. 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 Yes, we are back. And we are checking out the Outriders demo. Tell you what, this would be a hell of a VR game if we could make this in real life. Yep. Still got it. Outrider, check on our EPA rep. See if Shear has found any probes yet. Okay, now we go talk to the other person. And I think we get started with the Shear. How you been doing there, honey badger? Of course, we're freaking 83 years away from Earth, and the first chick I see is taking a selfie. I'm sorry. Can you believe this landscape? It's so beautiful. Oh, if only we had an internet to post those to. It's from a scientific record. Besides, we'll have the internet up and running in the first six months. The entire thing was backed up. The entire internet? Holy shit. Sure. Any luck with the probe? Scan's still running. I don't know what else I can do. It's just. How can the probe signals have. Oh, well, that means they backed up all the games, yeah, too. They said it was some kind of interference or something. Not from space, maybe, but not from down here. Still. Too been not too bad, not too bad. Uh, like I said, we've been a little bit busy with yes, work and killing and whatnot. Going from busy to boring, busy to boring, so. I say we're back streaming, and there's a game out now, Outriders, that I can play from the beginning with everybody, and that I'm into, so we're doing it. Do you have any questions I can answer, Stuart? Yeah, 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 I saw that. I'll toss the invite in before the end of the stream. That way anyone who's on here can join in. Alright, let's see. Trust the ECA to All right, tell me the truth. I think the ECAs thought this whole plan through. Well, my father was part of the team that designed the plan. My entire life he helped prepare for this day. The greatest undertaking of human history. Oh, so that's how you got on the ship, huh? Daddy smoothed your way? No. I studied engineering. Spent years in orbit. Designed structure. Drilling rivets into the hull. I helped build that ship. So you earned your way on. Good for you. It was my father. Just not like the way you thought. He gave up his place for me. He stayed behind. Mm. Shit, I'm uh. So <laughs> Look at his face like, oh shit. He would have been in all my space. But in the end, it's just me. It's strange not knowing anyone here. 
when this is over, come hang out with us. We're not such a bad bunch. I might take you up on that. Alright, now what's the plan for colonization? How's this colonization gonna work? You're in the planning groups, right? Yes. We've already started disassembling the engine. We need to bring that down first. The nuclear core should give us enough power to get the colony up and running. And when do the civilian pots start coming down? Within a few weeks, if all goes well. First, just enough people and resources to get our infrastructure running. You know, water, food, shelter. Then we'll keep waking folks from cryo. A few thousand at a time, no more than we can feed. Until before you know it, you'll be standing in the middle of a city. Meanwhile, the Flores stays up there? The ship was built in orbit. It was never meant to land. We'll have to keep it in our skies until we're capable of space flight again. One day, maybe. Mm. All right, let's check on a signal. Hey, is that supposed to blink that way? Oh, 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 oh. That's a probe. Tanner. I think we got a signal, it's close. Excellent work, Outrider. Now go locate the damn thing so we can land this beauty. Copy that. Hey, it's an historic moment. We should document it. Yep, there they go. Selfies again. Right. Uh, Alright, let's also play the other TS games. Which one, or you said the other, which ones? You talking like the Bake 3, Morrowind, Oblivion, and Skyrim, or did you play the two before that too? All units stay alert. Guard the perimeter. Hold your fire until we know what we're dealing with. Alright, let's go find a spur. Oh, we got eyes on some kind of hyena cow things. Yeah, I'm seeing them over here too. A whole herd of them. Are we sure all the wildlife around here are vegetarian? Are the boys? We call them Are the boys? Whatever. They look pretty ugly, you ask me. They look pretty pissed off. They're astonishing. I bet they can be domesticated, performing. Uh, I bet they make some fat, juicy steaks. Uh, one of those cow things is sunning itself right on my path. Hey, maybe you can get close enough to get a DNA sample. Not exactly our priority, but... If I can get close without spooking it, I'll try. That's why I got a hold X. Yeah, like I said, I'm used to Destiny, so I'm not used to the whole cover. Uh, scared it off, but I've secured the objective. Fantastic. Got some kind of storm brewing. That damn storm. All right, here is yeah, the pod. Found the probe. Looks probe like it landed pretty Same hard. Way. Those are yeah. Love all. Transmitting to HQ now. Especially Mormon. Mormon's still probably my favorite. You know what? I might go back and play that again at some point. But something's weird about this one. Weird? That guy's over there. Rising and falling? It's supposed to be a steady tone. Outrider Alpha to HQ. Hold off on calling in that green light. We've got another probe out here to analyze. Negative, Alpha. Your job is done. Damn it. Maxwell, listen to me. We can't afford to make mistakes. Scrum. Give us time. Any more time and we lose our orbital window. We have the data. I'm calling it in. You want to keep searching? Don't blame me if you find trouble. Over and out. Yeah, Maxwell, dude. All right, Outriders. Rendezvous back with the convoy. Let's go find that stray. I gotta go back here. I just hear it growling from everywhere. I don't remember that. There we go. Alright, now stuff starts getting interesting. Hey, Cuthbert, any updates? Probe signal is mostly noise, but I've tracked its source. There.
Hope you all brought your galoshes. Ooh. Jacob. <laughs> Same shit, different planet. Ochevishchen. <laughs> It's like the colors on those things. I don't know why, but the colors on those RVs are just, yeah, terrible. Still like them though. Now oh, the trucks went down. How are the mics not down? Soldier, your primary focus, Shira. Understand? We keep moving. Eyes up. On your own spit, dude. It's nothing. I'm good. Jesus. Oh, get back to the ship. Alert the medics. What's going on? Hey, stay back. I don't know why you touch floating black goo on an alien planet, but I don't think that'd be rule number one. on the probe. I got movement. Heading in. And the cool thing is, you can go back, except for the, this opening sequence, you can go back and replay all the quests. Damn it, Tanner. I told you both not to go miss up this operation. It's my name on the line when it's landing, and you have no authority over me. Hey, boss, we lost that you. Dude. Getting her straight probe. How's Scarstead? He looks like shit. Any idea what this black gunk is? Some kind of saprophyte or mycelium? What's this gonna sample? It's alien icky. Don't touch. Let's see. Uh, there we go. Okay, you want to play? Let's play. That face. That face. by one of those cow things. Something drove it crazy. I had to put it down. Keep an eye out. Copy that out, Ryder. Now move your ass and find that probe. Tell what I like his armor. Found it. Good work. Get the drive to get the hell out. Wait, hold on. This thing's just in relay mode. Tanner, the signal isn't coming from the probe. It's coming from outside our search zone, somewhere else on the planet. That's impossible. There is nobody else. Secure the hard drive. We'll analyze that signal back at base. Copy. Something's frying it, Tanner. Give us the frequency. 
Uh, carrier frequency is nine seven point tenor. Do copy. Now the damn comms go out. Tanner, Tanner, I'm seeing some really strange shit down here. What the fuck? Now run, boy. What? What door? No? Maxwell, what the fuck is all this? What does it look like? Sergeant Major, sir, we have to follow quarantine procedure and hold the landing. Whatever the original reports about this planet, they were wrong. There's some kind of anomaly. If we land now, everyone will die. There's no holding the landing. It's too late for that. There's nowhere else to go. Outriders 
Nope, 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 not doing that. Yeah, he's doing how the weapon kids. Yeah, good talking. Oh, I forgot I have a melee attack to sailor. Okay, cool. Uh, what's next? What's next? What's next? Uh, this fucker right here, you get bullets. I'm not taking first one anyway. Nope, not at all. Nope, that's not that angry. Okay. I just took and that one explosion is what fucked me up. to cry you until Medlab can save your fucking life. Don't be ridiculous. I'm done for. Pep talks aren't really my thing. It has been one shitty day for my guy. When is something truly over? Was it when your people left Earth behind? Well, it's because was the it when you watched the first yeah, no <laughs> crash and burn? Was it when you saw your fellow outriders crumble at your feet? Was it watching yourself die? But Enoch isn't done with you yet, outrider. Like I always say, it ain't over till it's over. I don't know who that is. Alright, we're in 
cry out. What year are you from? Year? What year? What? Is this your pod? Where were the uplink nodes? Come on, Doc. We need to go. They're coming. Wait, we can't just leave them here. These are outriders. They're not why we're here. I'm sorry. <laughs> no idea what's going on. I mean, I do because I've played this before, but right now, my character would be very, very confused. And a little pissed off. How's it going? Not bad. We haven't. We've got a couple update videos, but they're not really anything really to update. I mean, we're doing pretty good. We got back from the gym a couple hours ago, right before we started streaming, but nothing real huge going on yet. I'll try there. Those your kind. It's all dead. Dead? Uncuff me and find out. The anomaly is coming. Let's see how fast you can run! The no man's land! Like the others! That's a huge motherfucker. It's like waking up in Mad Max Hell or something. Well, yeah, Jim's going pretty good. We've had some pains and aches. We've had to take some days off to recover, but for the most part, we're going pretty good. I didn't know this before. Some of these people are alive. Uh. Tell you what, this is pretty fucking brutal. I kind of rushed through this the first time I played it. I didn't really notice. I'm not complaining about it, but I didn't notice how fucking brutal these motherfuckers were. I'm digging it. My fucking hell, we get to a new fucking planet, and the first thing they do, a dude wants to be a jackass and fuck some of the rest of the human race.
Fuck me. Mm -hmm. Run, boy. Yeah, no shit. All right, now here's where we choose our class. Now, I've been playing mainly as a trickster. I've already got that maxed out for the demo. That's gonna be my main class. I played with the Promancer a bit and I played the Technomancer a bit. So I'm gonna use a class I haven't touched yet. We're gonna go with the Devastator. This is a tank class. You sure you wanna be Devastator? Yes. Basically, a tank class, a DPS class, a kind of a assassin class, and a class where you use turrets like pets. Pull it out, pull it out. Yeah. Too. All right, let's go fuck some faces. And what the hell is that? There we go. All right, now this is the one it does easy. It where it, it fucking my damn brain. All right, it gives all the demo information. So. Um, we can get up to level seven in world tier five. Uh, world tier basically, or world tier basically decides how hard enemies are, but it also increases like the drop rate and stuff. Uh, we can only get so many resources in the demo. Uh, there's four side quests we can do, and then we can test all the classes. So that's all this is saying. All right. So what's this ability do? That is gonna be fun. All right, is this how Spider-Man got his powers too? I don't think he got impaled to the chest, but past that, I think so. Yeah. Fuck's happening. I don't belong on this side. What the? Spider-Man just got sexually assaulted by a spider, though. Who the hell are you people? Guess it's shoot first, questions later. Whoa. No, there's the only way to heal in this game is to kill enemies, but each class heals a different way. With a trickster, you heal by killing enemies up close. Power mancers, killing enemies that are on fire. It looks like this fucker heals by just killing enemies up close. No, no, don't run. You're talking all that good shit a minute ago. Don't run out of that. I got some superpowers. Yeah, one thing I don't like, there's no jump in this game. That bugs me a slight bit. Alright. I could get used to this. Damn I suck. Alright, I'm better up. Up close. There we go. Nope, 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 nope. Nope, that's a grenade. I think each class has eight abilities and you can build around them. I mean, that's right, I can't play. I'll be just pausing over combat.
And so see how my health goes up in the bottom left hand whenever I kill one of these guys. This this flares. This storm. I've seen this before. Let me see if I can. What we landed. Uh, here we go. Yep, there's eight skills you can mix and match around. You can build, you cannot get everything. There are a very limited amount of points you can get, so you have to choose how you want to build. And I've got a bunch of accolades already because I've already uh, played this on a different class. I didn't know there is... Okay, there's prizes I can get. I did not realize that. Emotes... What's this? I may have made a mistake coming in here right now. Nope, there we go. Okay, all these different accolades. Okay, now let's get back to the action. Now you can find legendary items and gear, and all of them have different mods you can either use or break down to learn to build later. You can customize your customize your character pretty well. think they're the person destiny but with actual good customization for your skills and armor. This can't be real. skill here. Go on. Okay, I'm covered in rock now. Let's see what it is. It's just a... It's just a buff? Let's see. Fortify yourself against 65% of incoming damage for 8 seconds. Okay. So tank buff, basically. does that mean? You... <laughs> you don't know what you are. <laughs> Where'd you steal that uniform? Didn't. It's mine. Yeah? If he's really an outrider, then you fight's in the wrong side. Haltered. What are you talking about? Yeah, yeah. The Grand Marshal, she'll explain. Come. This feels like just an hour of my character too. You wake up from cryo sleep, beautiful planet, and then 
shit goes to hell and you wake up in hell. This is this is not a good day. Actually, one of my character shares money across different accounts. I'm, I'm gonna have to check that out. This is done loading. Where is she? There. There. What is that? Go, go, go. Do whatever you have to do, Lieutenant. Shira? You're alive. I'm sorry to disappoint you. You came from their side. Got any intel for us? Are you fucking kidding me? Look, I got a war to win, so either you help me or you get back into cryo. Hold on. I've just woken up to mud and shit. I've been asleep for God knows how many years. 31 years. So for 31 years, I've been seeing people fight and die while you were getting comfy in cryo. So excuse me for not throwing you a little welcome party. You put me in cryo. What happened to you? The anomaly. That's what happened. You mean that storm? We told them not to land. Anything more advanced than a grease engine that fried. All our data wiped out. We couldn't grow crops or make medicine. So we ended up in the same place as when we left Earth. Just killing each other the little we have left. Why didn't you go somewhere else? The Outriders could have... The Outriders are dead. What? And the anomaly keeps us in this fucking valley. We can't go anywhere else. You don't get it, do you? You think you're dreaming? This is real. Believe me, it's fucking real. So whether you like it or not, you're stuck here in the mud and shit like the rest of us. You should have never woken up. Miss out on all this. Grand Marshal, we were too late. The Highlands have him. He's been taken underground. Well, get him back. Well, it may be our side, but that's not our turf, ma'am. I'm not losing people over Yakub. Yakub? He's still alive. Not for much longer, it seems. Then I'll go find him. Ma'am? Ma'am? Never mind. We've got it covered. Like, I get all the shit this chick's going through, but she is awfully fucking bitchy to somebody that just fuck woke up for all this. Alright, so here's the world tier section. So basically, the more you fight, and the more experience you get, you can up the world tier. And as you can see, if you scroll over it, it, uh, it modifies loot drop and how hard enemies are. So right now I'm on World Tour 2, so enemies are like negative one level what they would be. Three, they'd be neutral, and then four and five start getting harder, but it also drops rarer and more powerful loot. I think it goes up to 15. Just double check. Yep, 15, but we can only get to five in the demo. Let me take a look at some stuff here. Got some pants. And then I can mark this and dismantle it. Okay, so each character has different resources. Okay, good enough. Hey, Shira. Let's go. We're geared up for tracking down Yakub. Now, who the hell are these assholes? They're thugs, drug runners, and child slavers. They call themselves the Hounds. And believe me, no one's gonna miss them if you put a few dozen in body bags. Well, haven't you done something about them already? Huh? All right, another head. Because their black market keeps our soldiers happy. And at least they're not eating their own fucking kids like the insurgents we're fighting out there. Yeah, I met a few of them. Not so friendly. Come along, nothing to see here. Is that a surgeon or a hound? He's about to drop off the edge. Alright, let's go rescue Yako. Now, this is also a multiplayer game too. You can do it all solo, but you can also drop in, drop out multiplayer. 
and there's no PvP. So unlike stuff like Destiny, you don't gotta rebalance everything because people bitch that something's too powerful in PvP. Which I like. I'm looking for Yaki Dabrowski. Go away. You got a gun pointed right at your. I approve. What the hell is going on out there? Oops, hold on now. There we go. Much better. Close range scale, there we go. Take it, take it. Two rich man, he's coming for the same reason, yeah. I don't mind balancing stuff for PvP, but whenever I see someone balance something for PvP in a game that has PvE too, they usually just ruin the PvE portion of it too. They never separate them. Set this up from other character to automatically pick up rare and above items, so I gotta pick all this up by hand. There we go. Now, for a bunch of people that are half starving and whatnot, they sure do have some weird ass fucking wrench ninjas that are trained off of well. See, I don't like, I usually play, when I play a game like this, I usually play like the stealthy characters. I usually play the, uh, like ninja-like characters or rogue-like characters. And I tend to see more often, oh, what the hell, get my ass handed me. More often than not, the people bitch about those kind of characters because they can one-shot you from stealth and whatnot, and they end up being worthless at the end of the day. There we go, shit. They nerf them into the ground, it just kind of pisses me off. But like Destiny, the new stasis subclass. I love ice subclasses or like ice abilities and stuff in games. Stasis is awesome, but people bitched about it and now it's been nerfed into the ground. Now, where's Jakob? Yeah, I get some of the complaints, but still. Done that, so I know I've unlocked some chests. So let's open those. Now I am picking up everything because the progress from the demo does carry over to the main game. So I am trying to make sure I gear my character out a bit as I go. Uh, thought there's not. Here we go. There we 
you go. Looking better. Looking better. Now, once you start getting rarer, rarer items, they actually have mods on here, and the mods will actually affect all your abilities. Then you you will be able to break down the uh, weapons and armor. This is sorry, awesome. And uh, learn the mods and then put those mods on different weapons. So you can seriously customize your gear. Nope, another chest right here. Give me. There we go. We got a green one. What can you do? So we would just take care of the knee. That's life here. Yeah, no getting. Okay. Ooh, here we got a new helmet. Uh, so it's a blue and above, I believe, will give us. Yeah. But this one will have max health, and then the blue uh, blue one will have like actual stat boosting, stat boosting uh, crap mods and actual skill changing mods. Nice eyes. Hey. Whoa. Oh, sorry, guys. I thought this was the bathroom. You okay? I had it under control. Been a while. Do I know you? Kurva! <laughs> then I thought you were dead. You'll soon be dead if you don't get your ass to Shears right now. Uh, Shira. All right. So my knife hurt me a little bit, so I'm gonna to stretch it a lot. I stretch it out a bit. All right. Then once it's over, we can Shira. fast travel. I got Yak about in one piece. He's on his way to you. That old drunk just refuses to die. <laughs> Well, you should come join us. We have some catching up to do. Will do. All right, so this is a whole first area. Uh, we've only got access to like maybe up here, here, and then right around here. So we really don't have access to much yet. I tell you what, even what what little we do have access to, I think there are ten legendary weapons in the game right now that you can get. They're really rare to get. There are people that have like 200 hours in this game. I already have all the legendary so far. Like, it's insane. Like, a lot of stuff we can't use yet. Like, the, um, the stash, we can't use that yet. Um, crafting, we can't use that yet. We can do multiplayer. But I'm not interested in that at the moment. Oh, yeah, I gotta follow. Grand Marshal's got us control. Let's see, there are a couple side quests I can begin, and I can just kind of do them as we go. Eh. And then there are actual vendors that actually have a good use, like they actually sell good gear. It's not like in other games where you see a vendor one time and they have gear you can use maybe once, and then the rest of the game there's nothing. They actually have good gear that rotates in and out, so I like that. Uh, so you... Like the revolvers. Put me to the cockpit. <laughs> no kidding. All right, so like here, here's a piece of blue gear. So these actually, this one will boost max health, and you can actually see it's got a mod on there that'll actually alter one of my skills somehow. Now uh, it'll, you know, buff damage or increase how many times you can use it before it uh, has a recharge. You can do a number of things. And this has only got an hour timer on it, and then each hour it's going to randomize and give another piece of good gear. I uh, cannot afford it yet, so we're just going to go ahead and go past it, but yeah, these are pretty nice. There we go. Okay, something I do want to check real quick. I believe they added something that I need kind of right now. Display. Motion blur. There we go. Off. They did not have a motion blur toggle before. And that just throws me off. 
Let's see if it looks good. Much better. I hate motion blur. No, because he won't. Because he can do what the fuck he wants. Hey, never been so happy to see a familiar face. You have an age today. We're in the restroom. I'm leaving this plane for you guys. Be right back. The hallway. That was Seth. What was he doing here? Ignoring our pleas for help. I thought it was on your side. <laughs> Seth, he's not on anyone's side. The insurgents have altered their walking night. We're lucky Seth shows up to fight them back sometimes, but only if it fits whatever the hell game he's playing. Hey, damn it. You have no idea how bad it is, Outrider. We thought we escaped the apocalypse. We thought we could start over again here. But we were wrong. I was wrong. Shira. Do you know why I'm in charge? Because I'm the only officer left alive. The insurgents at our door, they're feral, sadistic, they have us surrounded. We're low on food and bullets. And if those freaks don't kill us, this planet will! Welcome back. The black fungus in the forest. We never found a cure. The I'm mountains back. are filled with abominations. And the anomaly storms get bigger every year. We don't have much time. If we don't find a way out of this valley, if we don't find a miracle, this last shred of humanity is over. Shira. Oh, would you look at that? I can do things now. I don't understand, but maybe there's a reason. Yes, you are. I guess I know why I saved your damn life all those years ago. I'm sure this isn't exactly what you had in mind. I... I'm not complaining. Still, I don't get it. The day we landed, that storm, it tore Cuthbert apart, but not me. Why? Why was I... Altered? Who the hell knows? When those storms hit, some get ripped inside out, some turn pink polka dot, and a few come back. Fucking immortal. Nothing about the anomaly makes sense. It disrupts the laws of nature. It mutates whatever it touches. Early on, the ECA's best scientists tried to understand the storms. To tame them. None survived. Mm. I guess you got lucky, boss. <laughs> or maybe not. All I care about is that you are on our side. Our only supply line is blocked by an altar that our weapons cannot touch. Out by Tell you what, I'm getting some... Seth had no interest in audio lag on this. You're here. Hell, why not? Maybe I can buy humanity another day. Lieutenant? What the hell was that? The whole front line just collapsed! Like an earthquake, all right. I, I, I think we lost our whole first line of defenses. On my way. Go, go, go. Hey. In case I don't get another chance, I, I tried to find you, but it all went to shit. We had to run for our lives. I just forget it. I'm alive. We should have been dead ten times over, if not for Tanner, if not for Shira. I'm the one with dues to pay now, Jacob. Boss, I missed you. It's good to have you back. Now go beat that altar's ass for us, so we can get back in this goddamn fight. Well, I got a shot. Okay. All right. Now we got some side quests unlocked. Bad. I'll see what I can do. Shira. Gravity. I've got about 30 years of questions to catch up on. 
So if you make it back in one piece, come and ask me. But I don't promise I'll have all the answers. Let's find our side quest. They're gonna be marked, I just can't remember where they're at. There we go. There's one right here. Examine my wares, revered one. I guarantee at least one will strike your fancy. Come, see what wonders I have for sale. Another time, mister. I'm having one shitty day. Bitter wind blows for us all. Come, how about a little hot tea? This is a side quest, by the way. Not much of an inventory. Ah, uh, don't mind all this crap, honored one. I keep all the good stuff. Should have paid, old man. You're altered. I, I didn't know. Think I care? He was about to show me the good stuff. He was just acting on orders. Whose orders? Barker. Uh, he runs the Hounds gang. He's trying to take out all the vendors in Rift Town. It won't work for him. <sighs> Worst fucking day. I really like our characters. Alright, that's the start of the first one. There's a second one I can get going. Oh, never mind. I can't start the one. Okay, the other one starts right here, but I can't do it quite yet. Alright, uh, how to. Let's, there we go, bad day. We're going to track that one. What the hell happened? The insurgents dug underneath my troops, moved the whole goddamn front to hell. If you can't open the supply line, we're done for. And I played a male and female character, they both got pretty much the same lines, and they, they're both just insanely badass. Did I trigger? Yep. He's surprised. Grand Marshal's got us patrolling the damn town. Rabble's not content with dodging the bad guys. Alright. Grabby leap. I haven't tried this one yet. Uh, let me create this skill. Uh, there we go. Leap into the air and strike your targets from above, dealing 107 damage, interrupting enemies with a small rate. Okay, let's find enemies to try it. Maybe that's why. I have a target. Oh! I approve. Triggers mute and whiplash in phase seven. This goes through. Oh, yes, it does. Okay, that's good. It goes through cover. Tier has gone up. Where do I change that at again? There we go. Claim rewards. Alright, see, so yep, higher world tier, the harder the enemies are going to be, but the better chance I got of getting good loot. Everything is 
looks like shit. It's 31 years. Once we finish the demo with this character, I'm going to go through and show you my trickster, the one I've been playing on for a while. Funny how when you think life can get worse, a little, yeah, no kidding. And this guy's life went from. I mean, think about it, he was in cryo sleep too, so when he landed, he'd only been asleep for like. It only felt like a few hours or so. Fuck off. So for this guy, it's basically back. been from being on Earth in hell. This isn't a rescue. In a couple days, he's here. Do I know you? Mr. Chang sends his regard. Oh, come on! It's right in the middle of my line. You are taking too long. Plan to get all the way here. Thanks for the rescue, anyway. Again, really wasn't here for you. Did you say, Mr. Chang? Is he all right? Mm -mm. Fuckers! Like it's not bad enough having insurgents trying to drag us all to hell. We got to have these low light. The audio and video are clearly not synced up right now. Yeah, I know the game. I don't know if it's streaming or really what. hasn't changed a whole lot. Hey, you did a good thing. Got a bad guy off the street, and I'm walking home without a scratch. I'm Eva, by the way. Got a stall near Chang's place. You should have come see me there sometime. find around but I've already got them all out of here and it looks like it is the count balance so it's not something I gotta grab for every character so that's good. Alright that one's done now let's get back to the main story. There we go reunion Oh, okay, I can't warp there yet. Alright, let me check my inventory before we go out. Uh, yes, it's a better rifle. Keep a shotgun. Now I can mark all these and dismantle them, or I can just sell them. Right, another equipment. Let's get out of here. Yeah, 
don't remember emotes being in here before, but it looks like that's something I've either added in or I just didn't notice. Yeah, there's a lot of loading screen screens whenever you go between areas, but that's mainly for co-ops. What they said, I think they're gonna try to adjust that so it's not as prevalent, but it's more of a everybody has the vote to move on type loading screen. Like all these, you can skip through. Well, I mean, this one you can't, but like the ones where you're just watching a door move and stuff, you can just skip past those. All right. Even though this is how you heal, I don't like that we get so low on health sometimes. It is kind of a, a little bit of a balancing act, it feels like sometimes. Alright, somebody's over here. There's a side quest out here somewhere, one that I'm very eager to get to. Alright, so this is a fast travel point we can set up. And now I can teleport back here whenever. There we go, that's the one I was looking for. Special about a cat. For the captain. Yeah, you know, the fuckers with powers who get put in charge. <laughs> Not a real author. Not like we could notice a difference. It's like a subaltern. What's he look like, this captain? Scar down his face. Sadistic fuck. Ugh. He forced half my squad to walk into an anomaly. And he enjoyed it. Yeah. And I think I know the guy. I really like revenge stars. Where is he? Inside the bunker up the hill. I wish I could look him in the eyes and you make him pay for what he did. I think I'll pay him a little visit. For old times' sake. Okay. 
That's the plan. Like right there, that was a loading screen you could skip. Okay. Should I settle up with this cat? Chance. Uh, there's also resource gathering in here. I know there's some ores and stuff you can mine up. Uh, again, there's only so much we can get in the demo. But, uh, I think iron, I think, yes, yeah, so there's some right there. Kill this fucker. Set on fire, but I'll take it. Alright, here we go. So there are research modes you can actually go out and mine. guy was hiding the drill at, but I'm choosing not to question it too much. Yeah, this is a bit of a tough fight, so let me make sure we're optimized here. But we still haven't got any really good gear yet, but This goes into interrupting skills and whatnot. You can actually interrupt uh, enemies when they're trying to use skills and whatnot. That's all that was. I remember you. Give me all you got. He asked for it. about you buddy do you really want to know if you keep your drill yeah no kidding 
It looked like you pulled it out from behind him. Wait. Stop. You're an altar. You can do whatever the fuck you want. Where the fuck are you fighting for those those fascist assholes? We're the ones fighting for our lives. Do you even know what they did to us? I know what you did to me. <laughs> Tell you what, that this may just be the demo and a little quick cyclist. Our there are very few games joke. or moments in that gaming will want to see his head for herself. that made me feel as satisfied as that did just there. Some for you. Stop his head off. Not enough. You gonna be okay? You need a medic or something. You nuts? A medic around here will kill me faster than the shrapnel will. Don't worry about me. I'll live to fight another day. And there we go. First piece of the blue gear. So this, if you take a look, will show you that there are different abilities you can improve on. Uh, I kind of want this auto rifle. Reloading weapon creates shock. We're doing 13 damage to enemies. Yep, that's what I want. And then once the game's fully released, I can actually learn that mod by breaking down the gear and then add it onto something else. And these, I can just break down. You're nothing like any other altar I know of. In fact, you're nothing like any outrider I've heard of either. There we go. Now, there used to be a bug with this to where there was like a 50-50% chance when you would uh, leave your inventory screen, it would crash. I actually stopped playing the demo for a while until I got that fixed and I haven't had the issue since then, so that's good. This is the devs have been paying very close attention to what's going on with this game and everyone's feedback, which I really like. Digging this so far, but I still like my uh, trickster better. The trickster gets health back from close-up kills, but whenever he kills some up close, he also gets a bit of an overshield.
I cannot. Way back here. World Tier 4. Alright, let's go ahead and unlock that. It's going to be... even. Wait, did I say unusual weapon? Did I just get a new weapon? Yes, I did. Alright, it was a rifle. Details. All right, uh, where were we? This way. What sets this game apart from others like it? What do you like to think about the game? What would you like to see in the game? Okay, so the biggest thing I like about it. And you know what? I'm going to back out and show you guys because I can't show it on this character yet. Give me just a second and I'll show you what I like about it. One, I like the storyline. That's, I mean, you guys saw how crazy shit got really quick, so I'm liking that so far. Um, I've already seen a lot of the other errors you can go to in the game. We can't right now in the demo, but um, I guess to start with the demo, the fact that they actually release not a pre-release not a and this demo is free you don't have to pre-order it to play it you can go on steam right now pick it up and you can play the demo forever um so actually having a demo that we can play is the first thing i'm going to switch over to my main character now and show you guys some examples of what it else i like but this is my trickster character it's the only one level seven right now but um some of what i like in the game we can't access yet but one of the things is the crafting. And I'm going to show you exactly what I mean by that. Uh, let's see. While well, we're waiting for that to load, something else to like uh, the developers, what it is they're doing with the game. Um, Fallout 76 was the first one of the first games I streamed on this channel. Um, anyone that has paid attention to that at all knows how bad that went. I mean, even now, the game still... I think there was just another bug here recently where people could steal your entire inventory. That is friggin' insane. Um, the developers have not exactly been... Bethesda's not exactly been... Um, listening to what people want. Uh, they worry more about the cash shop than anything. It, it's not good. In this game, just in the demo, I mean, the developers have been very, very clear and very... What the hell do I have equipped? Hold on. Okay, I don't know what the hell I got equipped right now, but um, developers have been paying attention to what the people have asked for. Um, bugs that have popped up, they've taken care of really quickly. Uh, features that people have wanted, they've taken care of. And again, this is only the demo. This is the stuff they're adding into the full game. The full game hadn't even released yet. Now, um, let me show you what my character looks like, and then you kind of understand something else I like about it. Okay, so unlike my other character, this one's got all blue gear on right now. It's got all uh, rare gear on right now. If you take a look at these items, let me see if I can go into details and highlight them here. You see how they've got mods here? Too often what I see in other games, um, I haven't played Division, but I'll compare this to like Destiny. Destiny, your armor, all it really does is kind of add to your stats a little bit. It makes you slightly faster, it gives you slightly more resistance. Um, honestly, outside of PvP, your resistance doesn't really matter that much. You're not going to be taking too much less damage. I mean, somebody with zero resistance versus 100, you can take maybe one more shot. I mean, that's pathetic. Um, movement speed is probably one of the bigger things. I mean, you, I mean, the numbers do matter, but here the gear actually does a lot more than just give you a few additional stats. So take a look here. Let's take a look at this. Um, let's see what I can do. Here we go. Um, so this chest piece I got on right now. It actually allows me to use one of my skills twice in a row before the cooldown. So like how I've been using all my skills, I'll show you. So like here in the bottom middle, 
You see, if I use my skill, it's got a cooldown. Well, this chest piece alters that so I can actually use it twice in a row before it has to do a cooldown. That's a pretty major gameplay change there. See, I used it twice, now it's got the cooldown. Um, there we go. There's there's a couple skill things on here that I can't access yet just because we don't have access to those skills yet. But um, all these mods that you see in the bottom of this gear, you can actually learn yourself. There's different tiers on, but if I break down this gear when the main game comes out, I'll learn how to make that mod. I can then take the gear that I like, gear that I've actually come across that I actually want, and I can add those mods on to them using my resources. Um, same thing, like if you read there under armor, it says bonus firepower. On that one, this one gives me firepower, anomaly power, so that's skill power, maximum health. I can actually increase all these as well. I can increase the item's level, I can increase its rarity. I got a lot more customization options than I would in any other game like this. I mean, Destiny is the main one I play. I mean, you can spend days, weeks, and months trying to grind for that perfect piece of armor, that perfect piece of gear, and then here until recently, that would be useless after a year. Um, if you pay attention to Destiny, they actually got rid of the sunsetting mechanics, so it used to be your gear would only be good for three or four seasons, and then you couldn't increase its power level anymore. People got really pissed about that, including myself, so they got rid of that finally. But the gear that we had to get rid of before is gone still, and there's no plans to give it back. So they basically got rid of 70% of our gear, and then got rid of that system, but our gear is still gone. Even if you save it, you still can't increase its level, so it, they just kind of fucked over all of our shit. And um, here the customization is a big portion of it. Um, we also like the story, is what I listed already. The customization is what I listed. Uh, the developers, developers listening to us is what I've listed. Um, being able to go back and replay missions. Like right now, this character has already done everything a demo can do. I can go back and replay everything in a demo right now if I want to. Um, I mean, so far, those are the main things. I mean, I'm looking at it, the graphics looks pretty cool. I mean, we've only got the one error so far, but I'm I'm digging what we got. Um, and don't get me wrong, there's always a possibility that when the game actually fully releases that the rest of the game just sucks. I mean, it could be that there's, you know, no real other missions. There could be, like, maybe one more mission and it sucks. I really doubt it. Um, so far, they've been fairly upfront, and I'm going to show you what this character can do real quick. So you kind of get an idea. You saw what my tank could do. This is what my trickster can do. This is my favorite class so far. This isn't even in the tank class. This is just uh, assassin quick tank class. Um, oh, here's a good one. Uh, auto looting. I've got it set now to where if I press down, it'll automatically loot all gear of a specific uh, color. Like right now, if I press down, it'll loot any piece of blue gear and above. Um, I gotta pick this up by hand just because I set it to not pick up green. I was doing farming before. I didn't want to keep picking up stuff down to empty up my inventory. But um, that's a big one, you know, being able to pick up everything in one go. I mean, how many MMOs or just games in general where there's a crap ton of items all over the place and you got to run around and pick up everything by hand. Here it's just one button press. You set it to what you want to pick up and then it does it. A lot of things are just basic quality of life. Like, there's been a lot of quality of life upgrades for this. Like, what else? I must say I like the for it. Yeah, I like the story so far, too. Like, here's another one. Uh, one thing people wanted was to be able to mark everything and sell it in one shot. Like, if I were to go to the store right now, I would have to sell everything one by one by one. But I can mark everything as trash and then dismantle it all right here now or sell it all in one go. I mean, that's a huge quality of life thing. And again, it's not like other games don't have quality of life um, quality of life mechanics in it, but 
a lot of these quality of life things weren't in the demo to begin with a month ago. I think this has been out since February. They've added all these things into the game before it's even released, strictly due to player feedback. How many games actually do that, say they're listening to you, and then actually act on that and give you what it is you're wanting? Not too many nowadays. Or it's something where they give it to you a year later. And yeah, the story so far, I mean, it is pretty good. I mean, a post-apocalyptic world isn't, you know, something that's brand new. But it feels a lot more desperate now because this is literally the last of humanity. And we're seeing it go to shit. I mean, there's no more ships. There's nothing. If we die here, that is it. So that has a bit of a different feeling than before. Maybe. I'm trying to think of the best way to put it. Whenever there's a game set on Earth, it always... It never really feels like this is really the end. I'd say the only difference, or the only exception would be when I played Horizon Zero Dawn. If you haven't played that, I would go through and check it out. That one, the end felt like the end. But uh, this one, I mean, we've lost our home planet. I mean, that's not something you run into too much. I want to hear the moment that's our a search weird feeling. Turn up anything about McCain. Um, I'm not gonna ruin this. Uh, I'm gonna go back to my other character, but yeah, this. Uh, Wait, did I turn it on already? There we go. Your lieutenant's dead. Tell me he died like a... Sure. Whatever. Are you so sure? We'll get to this quest of other character here shortly. But I mean, so far, those are the things I like. I mean, the mechanics of it are pretty solid. I mean, those are just the things that stand out compared to other games. I mean, past that, I mean... It's a generic third-person shooter. I mean, yeah, there's plenty of those out there, but these are the things that put it above the rest of them so far. And though, as I say that, we may have run into the first bug of the stream. Yep, I think the game has frozen or crashed on us. Hold on. Yep, it did. Unreal has crashed. We got our load. No, that's okay. I think that's a pretty good stopping point right now. We're going to continue the stream tomorrow and continue with the uh, character we were playing with. Um, like I said, I'm going to be streaming this day one, and we're going to just kind of keep going with it. I'm going to do a whole playthrough, and we'll see. I mean, if we really in, end up enjoying it we'll go through and we'll do uh, a lot of videos where we'll go over different weapons a lot of legendary weapons we'll go over some farming stuff we'll go over the in-game expeditions um and they have started showing us a bit of what the in-game looks like we kind of had an idea already but the in-game is looking pretty insane um uh, it looks like it's going to be a lot of explorations kind of and i don't want to ruin the story so i just say some exploration outside the era that's all i'm really going to say but it looking like a challenge and like it's going to be pretty fun so um and like i said that was the first crash we had in like an hour when this first came out again every time i open up the inventory or press you know the menu button it was a 50 50 shot on whether it would crash or not this is the first time it's happened in like what two hours now so that's pretty good um but yeah past that i think that's going to do it for us for today guys we will pick this up tomorrow probably around the same time um yeah thank you all for coming by i'm gonna go ahead and put the link to the discord in the chat so just stick around if you still need that if you're still there honey badger um pass that thank you all for coming by and i'm gonna go ahead and end the stream stick around for just a minute i'm gonna set that link up for you guys and then i will see you guys later